still, we're just a day and a half away from a partial government shutdown if Congress doesn't find a solution. So what's causing the holdup and is a quick fix realistic? KBOI 2's national correspondent Scott Thuman takes a closer look. It's become an almost annual time crunch. Congress coming up with last minute budget agreements to keep the lights on. While a one week extension looked a given, there's suddenly a snag. The White House after newfound Republican support also wants a health care vote this week and Democrats threaten in that case they will table any budget talks. Just bring it up is not good. If they vote on it, the minute they cast that vote, they put doo-doo on their shoe. In other words, jeopardy for emergency funds to avoid a shutdown. But the White House chief of staff told me they've already conceded on another major sticking point, the wall. Do we avoid a government shutdown? I think so. I mean, it's the president's goal. He doesn't want a shutdown. And I think people saw on the funding on the wall that he was very reasonable and said, look, I'm going to take some money now on border security. We can get a lot of work done. And we'll come back in, this, in September and work on bricks and mortar then. I think he threw the Democrats on their heels. When the president took that off the table, he brought us closer together. And has there been a shifting of priorities or is this just learning how Washington works and understanding that you can't get everything you want? Neither. It's simply an understanding of where we are on the calendar. Keep in mind that the discussion we're having today about not shutting down the government on, on Saturday deals with the rest of the fiscal 17 year. That ends the end of September. That's only five months away. And what we realized is we just couldn't build that much wall between now and the end of September. Although these lines in the sand are usually erased pretty quickly once you're right up against that midnight deadline and leaders from both sides say a continuing resolution or a one week stopgap will likely be passed. On Capitol Hill, I'm Scott Thuman.